welcome back to the channel. This is Peacemaker episode five. So last episode we found out that Mern is a butterfly. Mm -hmm. And now the big question is, is he... Well, first of all, what are the motivations of the butterfly? Because Judo Master said that we don't really know. And I found myself questioning, are there butterflies that want different things? It seems like we're kind of setting up in my opinion, you know, this bottling company, my first initial thought would go to, okay, the butterflies are putting their eggs in the food so they can ship it out to the world and like kind of populate the entire world. Yeah, I don't know, but it's interesting. Um, it makes me wonder if he's the only butterfly in the group or mm -hmm. if there's more. Who knows? Yeah, it's cool. I also wonder, is is he going to reveal the fact that he has a butterfly with him? And will that butterfly be able to kind of give us any sort of information if we kind of... Yeah. I think we're going to have to put him in a body, though. And then, like, yeah. that's like, okay, well, you're just going to like kind of sacrifice somebody in order to mm -hmm. do that. I don't really know. So that's another question, too. How do we take out the mm -hmm. butterflies without taking out the people? Because they already took over a lot of people, and they're continually sending this shit out to people. And my theory is correct. Then you're going to have to find a way to take them out without out killing them. Hey, that's like one of those drinks. Spike, Spike in Spiegel. Cowboy Bebop drinks that. I think a... a it's like for hangovers, it? right? Yeah, I forgot what you call it. <laughs> it's honey. Look at it, it's like <laughs> looking for it. Like, ew, you spilled it on it. <laughs> Eagly has to go out. You're gonna like hunt him something. Remember when he brought better? him like a possum or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a squirrel. <laughs> Good evening. It's very meaningful to me. <laughs> no. Oh. <Aww. laughs> I'm not gonna eat it. You can have it though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I saw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like pointing at it. Bigly's so cute. Diary. What the fuck is that about? Who's diary? Small insect-like winged creatures, presumably extraterrestrial, were found in their skulls. They enter the human body through one of its orifices and go <coughs> through the brain, where they then are in control of the body. They go through the butt? <laughs> the butt is an orifice, mm -hmm. okay? That means they'd have to crawl through poop. Just because they're aliens doesn't make them gross. <laughs> Bigotry. <laughs> <laughs> he uberly bays the old shizers, I understand it. Where do you get this nonsense? Google. <laughs> Do you know more than Google? Well, congratulations. The butterfly's unique genetic structure and chemistry interact with the host body. They're so putting their eggs in the jars. And what's the chimp for? Chimpanzees have four times the strength of human beings. Yeah, and we're supposed to get that just by looking at this dye beard? I thought that man and the chimp were friends. This viscous amber fluid has been found on the <gasps> premises the of all the dead butterflies. Lab studies show the fluid's genetic structure is dissimilar to anything on this planet. The fluid seems to be the butterfly's only food source, which makes what Leota discovered last night potentially significant. This was on the bulletin board. So we're hearing him talk about it when you're Leota one. Notice mm. that this is also where Annie Sturphausen was employed. It probably is the food then. That's all they have to eat. I didn't mean to put your father in prison. Then why'd you put him there, you fat fuck? Because oh. I couldn't think of anybody else. And what about Ariana Grande or Drake? <laughs> what? Or Brad Pitt or Payne Stewart or Doug the Pug? Doug the, the Pug! <laughs> Joe Montana, Joe Montana, Eddie fuck? Murphy, Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan, <laughs> BTS. <laughs> All of BTS. John Lovitz, shut the fuck up and listen, man. I'm giving you a list of people you could have done. <laughs> Danny DeVito, Will Ferrell. Why does it sound like improv? Yeah. Yeah, quivers. Alice Cooper, Ozzy Osbourne, Sharon Osbourne, <laughs> Bill Cosby. He just got out. He's got time on his hands. <laughs> Amy Winehouse. Dude, Amy She's Winehouse dead. is fucking dead. Optimus Prime, <laughs> Shipwreck, Cobra Commander, the fucking cunts from Riverdale. <laughs> All right, next time I fucking have to frame somebody, it'll be one of all those fucking thousands of people you just mentioned. <laughs> yeah, tell that to my dad. <laughs> Do y'all want to be here till tomorrow? 
Do you have cable? Oh my gosh. So, I don't want to stay here overnight if there's no cable. He would be a teacher's pet. The point is, the raw amber fluid is potentially processed and bottled at Glantai Bottling Company. Glantai is in Little Cork, about two hours northwest of here. So you all are gonna take a field trip and see what you can find out. Watch him just be trying to like secure more food or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice penmanship, <laughs> asshole. And Fargo's not on till tomorrow night, you fucking nerd. <laughs> I'm so curious though, like what? Like, are they working in unison, or th is I'm it saying. like all like, butterflies for themselves? Because he seems like he's like leading them towards mm -hmm. answers. You'd think he'd be trying to deflect them. But then also, if he wasn't, would he like give away his cover? That's true. Monkey Dory. Like hunky Dory. Well, also remember there was a monkey mm -hmm. or a chimp. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kill that girl. Yeah, so you said. So they all always say. Yeah, but they can't prove it now, can they, Lucy Lou? Lucy Lou, because we're both Asian. How incredibly fucking clever. What should I call you, Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> <laughs> we impounded the car that was there that night. That ain't my car. Registration says otherwise, Guy Fieri. Check it again. <laughs> she just kind of started listing <laughs> out white guys. Huh? <laughs> well, they're fucking lying. And your fingerprints, Blake Shelton, are all over the murder <laughs> victim's apartment. I'm running out of white guys. <laughs> Check and see if they match those ones you found in the apartment or if someone's gaming the system. Because I didn't fucking do it. Then who did? My shithead fucking son. Snitch. <laughs> it's not funny calling him Diebeard for the thousandth time when he's told you repeatedly he doesn't like it. Being a bully is just part of his personality. What? <laughs> like how you used to call my brother Prince Charming. My brother was a handsome man. That was a compliment. <laughs> I don't think he considered it a compliment that you called him Prince Charming because his penis was shaped like a scepter. What? <laughs> How no, do you know that? it was really bulbous at the end. Caught me Thimble. Thimble? What? Yeah, I was a late bloomer. <laughs> I didn't go through puberty until my mid-twenties. What? Oh. <laughs> I don't have emotions like people do, but the other guys, after Chris came up with a nickname for him, usually based on their penises, they would just walk into the other room and sob because that would become their name for the rest of their life. Why are you seeing their penises? It's a locker room, dude. What am I gonna do? Look at a towel? <laughs> My friend Vaney McVainerstein said I was like a gypsy, but with dicks instead of palms. What? I got bullied too. Oh. My kid's calling me a bully all the time and telling me I was abusive. <laughs> Plus, I think we're missing what's important here, and that's how much Economo sucks at PowerPoint. Yeah, just think about how you talk to him, okay? You have to admit, it was kind of sweet how he wanted that monkey and that man to be friends. Well, he's gonna get out. <sighs> Should have just left it alone. How do we scan fingerprints? I don't know. Take a picture with your phone. The uh, phone? Well, it might be blurry because I don't have that new phone with the macro setting. Then borrow someone's phone that has macro. And then have the mirror drop it to it me. Seems like this would have like a better system. I right know. <laughs> seems like an unnecessary interaction. Unless she's a butterfly too. Mm. Potentially. Anybody who doesn't know things, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> she dancing with his finger. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Kakyoin from JoJo's. I can't take it. Not a fan of the Swedish metal there, eh? Not Hardcore? especially, no. We could always do a white snake power ballad. What about some jazz? Jazz? I listen to Vigilante's quiet farts back there in jazz. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Waller is funding us by secretly diverting funds from other operations, which leaves us on our own. So it's just the five of us against an alien invasion? And Mern. Well, it's counting Mern, just not Dybeer back there because he's fucking useless. <laughs> Governmental insiders blocking your efforts sounds a lot like the deep state. It's not a deep state. It's a collection of people, you know, deep within the government who are manipulating. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> you guys got any Hanoi rocks up there? You. No Hanoi rocks. Who's Hanoi rocks? Only the greatest band of all time. <clears throat> They're the original glam metal. They started it all. It's funny how suburban this show is. Like, mm -hmm. even the setting. It's just like a casual outside <laughs> of a city. <laughs> Lifts 
Street Kids? 11? 11? No, it says 11th Street Kids. Dude, that's one of their best songs. Oh, they're gonna bond. Oh! When I was 14 during a year abroad, got this right after. Yeah, dude, the only rock it is. You know what that plumbing company says? No, I didn't I see. I just realized, laying the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they that, went with. That's pretty on brand. <laughs> Speaking of Illuminati, you know our Wednesday episode that we titled that got flagged for oh, like yeah, Illuminati? Oh yeah, go look at it and look at what it got flagged on the under part. He's gonna get out. <laughs> so we're gonna free the damn white dragon? We have no choice. All right, that might be overkill. Fought these butterflies before, remember? <laughs> We're not even sure they're in there. Just take your pistol. I finger bang you. I'm not using my pinky. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying that because lesbians don't finger bang. You finger bang more than the rest of the world combined. Okay, you're right. I just forgot women had fingers for a second, okay? <laughs> It's funny because then going into this show, I didn't know if that humor was gonna like get stale after a while, but it really has it. <laughs> no. Did it kill butterflies with a fucking chainsaw? You're not taking that in there. I can't hear you. You're so fucking loud. Oh my gosh. I agree with Peacemaker. We can't go in there unprepared. We don't even know that there are butterflies in there. Are you just gonna walk in with a chainsaw? Oh, fuck. I'm never ever gonna kill someone with a fucking chainsaw. It's so not fair. <laughs> Total fucking bullshit. <laughs> you got a machete. Vigilante, you're with me. We'll check the bays around back. No. Peacemaker, you and Autobio question the employees in the front office. Find out what you can. Hey, what was Rochambeau for? Nothing. It has to deal with you. <laughs> Activate x-ray vision. Ooh, that's cool. Hey, how you doing? Okay, how are you? Oh my gosh! Cause she's yeah, yeah, yeah. the next rank. <laughs> I saw that coming. I thought it was gonna go like weird and he was gonna like see like below their like Extra clothes. Vision. You can see in their brains. Yeah, he can see yeah. if there's butterfly. <laughs> you could have saved it and gave yours at home a friend. The signal? Yeah, the signal was I shot her head off. <laughs> you said you were gonna be chill. Do I not look chill to you right now? <sighs> so yeah, we got an issue. The place is crawling with butterflies. Holy it's like their little shit. headquarters. I bet they're making their little juice or mm. whatever. I feel like it's probably two. It's probably they're making like, you know, yeah. the supply of food while also sending out some other shit to regular people so they can take over their bodies as well. But eventually you're gonna run out of people. Maybe you have to get a, a waiting list for a body at that point. I'm just projecting forward if the butterflies took over the world. <laughs> yeah, a waiting list. <laughs> yeah, you're like, damn it, I've been waiting for a body for years. Or maybe they take over monkeys or chimps. <gasps> there it is. That shit they eat. There's literally a thousand boxes of it in here. Destroy it. Yeah. So they have that, no food. Yeah, exactly. Great. Blow this place. I'm wondering if there's a whole lot more butterflies than we thought. Copy. They all should have got x-ray vision. Why didn't we think of that? Everybody should have had like little x-ray glasses. Yeah, you can see it. But then it's gonna just come out though. Yeah, but... Unless you double it's You just gotta find another body. Oh my gosh! Oh, why did you shoot <laughs> she them? shot him in the why? head. She shot him in the head. Why? What, what are you doing? You don't have to shoot people after they're already killed. Right. What the heck? <laughs> oh look, how are you making it, and what is it? Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> their language. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like a zombie oh movie no. now. This feels like a zombie movie. Or at least they're easy to spot right now. behind the warehouse and some butterflies have trapped us inside of some sort of 
computer room. Ooh, what is this room? Maybe it like tracks where all the shipments are going? Your friends are with Charlie. They won't last. Charlie? Long. Charlie. Like the leader? Our guardian angel. Is it Mern? Looks like he's been slacking. Maybe it's Mern. Maybe the alien's name is Charlie. You know? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like it's. Let's see. Something else, but we'll see. We need Judo Master to wake up and start snitching. Okay, show us Charlie. Whoa. Is it There's a chimp? A fucking it is! It's oh a fucking my black God. gorilla or something! It's the gorilla from the zoo! Remember the one that oh. fucking broke out? Do you copy? Vigilante. One of them went into the bit and it's Charlie! Mm -hmm. Can see their muscle. It'd be nice if you had a grenade right now. It could just be like, Yo, what the hell is that? It's a grenade I tied to a Russian nice. tank shell. Why not what? just the grenade? The grenade blows up like two people. How many people does this blow up? I don't know. I invented it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Eat peace, motherfuckers. <laughs> is it not gonna blow up? Go. Okay. Oh, okay. oh wow. <laughs> I invented it this morning. <laughs> are you are you all right? I mean, we had a bomb and we have a gorilla, so there's a lot going on right now. Harambe's taking his revenge. <gasps> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! He just hit her. Oh no! Oh sh fuck! Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm surprised they survived this long. Oh my goodness. <gasps> this is so scary. Oh, he got the oh, chainsaw. Oh, finally. I don't know how you snuck it in, but. Oh, oh he no! brought it. Okay, John. Okay, now cut out its. <laughs> Vigilante's gonna get pissed. Economos? Bonding moment. <laughs> it's like the predator. The <laughs> <laughs> meme. I am. I'm, I'm fucking stuck. <laughs> wow. They should have blew, blew up the factory, though. I know. Like, cut off its food supply. I'm still wondering if that was Charlie, though. Yeah. I think so, but, but it's I, so like easy. Yeah, though. that was too simple. Like, I mean, it wasn't easy. And they said easy, our guardian angel, maybe because it's like. I think it's Mern. They probably know about this whole damn task. Did she force. get taken over? Wait, maybe not. She might just be satisfied. Let's see. I don't trust anyone. Mm. Oh, I don't mm. know. <laughs> she could be Charlie. Oh no, she's taking a picture. Maybe she's just happy. Oh, yeah, I can't tell you. I don't know if I trust you. What are you talking about? I got his fingerprint results back from the lab. They matched the prints of the crime scene. <laughs> gotta be a fucking kid. Oh, they like did it again, probably, maybe? Or... No, but I feel no, like it was the other know. guy. It was the partner. Captain, what the hell is going on? Oh, that's. Oh, mm, okay, 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 okay. That's what it was about. August Smith is being framed. I know he's a bad guy, but that. Detective Song. You strike me as one of those uptight gals who pushes herself too hard to prove the men don't have one up on her. You take the rest of the night off. Give yourself a well-deserved rest. I can't figure out if he's one of them or not. I know. He might be. I can't. I'm like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Hello? He's like, buzz, buzz, buzz. buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> I'll tell you Let's see, how is he gonna act? Yeah. Once they tell him like all the shit they did. I don't mean to brag, sir, but it becomes a brag just by saying it. What's we defeated a gorilla! Technically, I think it was a super gorilla since we pulled so the they butterfly they killed Charlie. Out of its brain. No, definitely a super gorilla. Oh, so they did get the butterfly. We guess this means butterflies can use any life form as a host. Chihuahua? Probably wouldn't fit. Would be cool though. That what? wouldn't be cool at all. Why would that be cool? Yeah. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> what the He's so funny and random. Finding the source of the butterfly's food may be key to defeating them. But that can wait until tomorrow. 
You all have been arrest. He's like, I gotta destroy some of this evidence real quick. Hmm? Yeah. I don't know, she might be on to him a little. It's either a look of, we're in this together, mm -hmm. or a look of, like, suspicion. Yeah. I mean, it would have been a lot cooler if Economos came in and he was like, hey, and then he tossed me the chainsaw across the room. Because <laughs> he wanted to do it. <laughs> What are you talking about, man? I had just said how much I wanted to kill someone with a chainsaw like 50 minutes earlier, and then Economos just coincidentally comes oh in and kills someone with one. I mean, it kind of seems like he was trying to fuck with me a little. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take things personally. This new captain, Locke, he won't do the right thing, so fuck it. Fuck him. I'll go over his head. I know this judge. We can trust him. Judge. What's his name? It's Judy. Judge Judy? What? Like, Judge no fucking Judy? Way. That's his name. Yeah. Judge William Judy, it's a Swiss surname. Oh, okay. oh, I thought I was gonna say they got her a cameo. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, how does she have any power? It's a big house. Oh, oh, they started they a group, the group chat. chat. That's how you know it's real. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like, damn it, my identity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of uh, Aquaman or something? <laughs> <There's> a merman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Aquaman exists in this universe. Vigilante. Oh, he loves that merman emoji. <laughs> he says it means happy, sad, and everything in between. What? what? He says it's holistic. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. We'll call you sometime tomorrow. We gotta go through a lot of... Seems too peaceful. To see if we can extract something useful. I feel like they're gonna insert some drama before the end of the episode. Come in a minute. Grab a drink. I'm not gonna grab a drink. What do you mean? <laughs> Come on. I wanna celebrate. Uh, uh, Watch out for the fucking you butterfly. You fuck me by claiming your dick's a lesbian or some shit. <laughs> Dude. I think that gorilla broke my dick. <laughs> Maybe he just <laughs> wants a friend for once. lesbian, by the way. It's just... Not applicable in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of like his first, like, real friend. Yeah. Friend. That like, he actually actual chose. Friend. Yeah. Vigilante just kind of yeah. inserted himself into his life. She's gonna find the fucking butterfly. Yeah. There's a part of me that's worried. Oh, was worried. Once we, oh, the brother. Let's get that information. I was worried that the fucking butterfly was gonna take over Eagly. Mm. Oh, no, not Eagly. Vermouth, vinegar, peppercorn, a little maple syrup, and some yak butter. Yak, Ooh, butter. yak butter. Hard to find an evergreen side. So I want to find that. Butter, but <laughs> I like to try all kinds of butters. I know. Casey spends way too much time in the butter section of rest or not restaurants of uh, grocery stores. <laughs> oh, he was in the toilet. <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's rude. Oh, what's rude is you give me a feces drink. No, it's not that bad. The vinegar made it bad, probably. Not the butter. <laughs> is this her first time fucking making it? And the peppercorn. Should have been in that. She digs me. She called me handsome. She did. Oh, yeah. How? Tell me the context. Like, exactly how did she say that you were handsome? Okay. Oh, the diary thing. Remember? Oh. Um, said, leave the diary here. So was this all, like... I don't want it to be, like, a fake friendship, though. That would make me sad, you know? Well, um... She said, uh, just because you're handsome, you think you can do whatever you want. Right. Even though you're a piece of shit murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll come around. Yeah. Just be nice to her. Don't talk about her tits <laughs> and her pussy. What about when we're fucking? Oh my God. I'm talking about you just getting way ahead of yourself. Yeah, no, you gotta get there first. <laughs> Look, dude, you, you really aren't a bad guy. You just use being a dick as a way to push people away. But yeah, that's what I said. It, take a second and just drop that. It's a deflection tactic. Mm -hmm. I just never had this before. What? 
This, he, he giving me advice and having my back. Well, we've all had each other's back today, right? No, this is sweet. So now I hope the diary is not something like bad or something. I don't mm. know, I'm nervous. I'm still wondering whose diary it could be. Okay, okay here's he's, a diary. No, he's never had a real friend. That like makes me so sad. Because you're about to screw him over. I don't think she's like faking the friendship. No, though, no, no. But it's just she still has to complete yeah. her mission. Yeah. Oh man. Hopefully it's like something like Peacemaker's diary, Wayne. Okay. Is it his own diary from like childhood? Oh yeah, no, no worries. Are you gonna hide it or something? Or did they take it to read it and had to put it back? I don't know. You know? I don't know. I'm confused on that one. Let's like see what they happens had stole once, it or something? Once he finds it. But like, he, wouldn't he like, yeah. I mean, I guess maybe he's like right. Maybe he's shit. like, oh, I've been in prison this whole time. I forgot about it. Or yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That seemed bad. Like, yeah. not like. Maybe it's going to be like what sparks his memories for like the brother. Maybe. This thing is fucking me up, and I, um... <sighs> anyway, I, I love you. And I will, uh... I'll talk to you tomorrow. Gosh, now I'm, like, really nervous what she just did. I mean, if it's his diary, like, what's the worst that could happen? I don't understand. Oh, if it's the x-ray one. <gasps> He's, she's going to see. Oh my gosh, she's going to do it. And she's going to see it. And then what are you going to do? You're going to have to keep your mouth shut right now. Activate x-ray vision. Oh okay. my gosh. Did he hear you? But he might not like register with yeah. that. Like people on the outside yeah. walking. Okay. Why did he just leave his helmet here? You'd think he would have taken that. He's got a crap ton of them. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, this is your work. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mr. Murray. Oh my gosh. Crazy. You gotta check this. He didn't realize. Oh, fuck. There you go. How are you gonna get out of this? Oh my gosh. He better not kill her or something. <gasps> Oh. No! <laughs> Not her. I really like her character. I like their friendship so mm. much. I liked how they did that reveal, how she just like saw mm. it. Like, I feel like that was pretty cool. Skahargate, Mario, Super Mario. <laughs> okay. This Luigi, one was good. <laughs> Yoshi, the princess. I love Yoshi. Ernie, Rover, Snuffleupagus, Burger King, <laughs> Grimace, Ronald McDonald, two old guys from the balcony and the Muppets. <laughs> Any one of the fucking Beatles, Pete Best, George Carlin, Dad, Danny Glover, Mel Gibson, <laughs> Ice T, Ice Cube, <laughs> Vanilla, I <laughs> Seth Meyers. What about Seth Meyers, or for that matter, Jay Leno? Conan's not really doing much right now. <laughs> All right, most of those you're right could probably go to prison. But I would never <laughs> put Ariana Grande in there. She looks too innocent. Possibly true. Possibly. <laughs> Probably that the best funny. out of all of the end credit scenes that we've seen up to this point. Um, so I said it there as we were waiting for the end credit scene, but I really like this show. Oh, I feel yeah. like it's mm -hmm. a really cool blend of humor mixed with like, you know, this elaborate plot that is kind of like, it's funny when you think about like, okay, we're fighting butterflies, but it's still like interesting and it's captivating for me because I feel like, okay, now we're trying to find like the mystery behind it all. But now with Leota having discovered Mern, I feel like we're really going to find out Mern's actual motivations. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know how he's going to silence her. I hope he doesn't just kill her. That would be like really, really sad. going to butterfly her? Yeah, that would be pretty crazy too. This show is so interesting. It is unlike anything DC I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, I feel like, you know, if this is kind of a, uh, I, I guess like a tease of what is to come in like the DC universe. I'm pretty excited for it. I mean, we yeah. obviously saw the Suicide Squad. I thought it was significantly better than the original Suicide Squad. This show has been really, really fun. I've been, uh -huh. I found myself enjoying this a lot more than I 
enjoyed some of the Marvel mm -hmm. shows. And I know we're big Marvel fans, and I feel like now we're just trying to dip our toes into the DC universe. And I mean, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing so yeah, far. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's it it's a blend of a lot of things. Like it has a ton of humor, but it also has a lot of serious moments. And like it's not just humor just for humor like it, it fits with the characters yeah. and stuff like that um and i just i feel like they've hit the nail on the head really well with it all right well thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye everyone